Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali. And Steph. What are we doing today, Steph? Today we're doing a full body dumbbell workout. No repeat, no jumping. So what we want to do with you guys today, we're working a dumbbell workout flow where we're coupling different exercises together. So it's a little bit different to what we normally do with you guys. Normally they're simple, strict exercises. But this time around, we want to couple exercises together within the same repetition to really make it a full body dumbbell workout for you guys today. We're going to offer two different versions of the workout for you guys. Tuesdays 10 p.m. you'll get the beginner's version and on Thursday at 10 p.m. you'll get the advanced version. Now, we hope you enjoyed today's dumbbell workout flow with us. We'll see you guys on the other side. On the other side. Okay, a nice legs complex for this one, guys. Start with the squat. When you work your way back up, we're gonna go into a calves raise, and then I want a pair of reverse lunges. So just make sure you're doing those nice and steady. Take care of your knees, and make sure they're lengthy enough. Your turn to try this nice legs burner. Biceps curl into a shoulder press and then a round the world lateral release for this one guys. Get the biceps curl right up without moving your elbows. Then switch your hand position, go straight up into a shoulder press. And then when you're releasing, I want you guys to do it nice and slow with good control. Finish with neutral hands. Your turn to have a go at this one. Another really good full body dumbbell exercise you guys, starting with some close grip presses, then we go into an abs crunch. To balance it out, we're going to finish with a glutes bridge as well. Now make sure when you do your press, you keep your dumbbells together, keep your elbows tucked in, and then a full range crunch, and then hit that glutes bridge going as high as you can. Try and create a straight line from your shoulder to your knee. So renegade push-ups for this one guys, so you can see it's a combination of a push-up and a renegade row. So hit your push-up nice and steady, get nice and deep with it, and then on your way up you're going to hit the renegade row on one side. We're going to alternate sides after each push-up. Now if you've got some trouble doing this particular exercise, just do it on your knees the way Steph's doing it.
So a steady squat, then we're going to go into some deadlifts and we're going to finish with some neutral grip upright rows for this one guys. And this is a fantastic combination to throw into a full body dumbbell workout. Make sure you squat with your feet nice and parallel. Make sure the deadlift is a hinge pushing your butt right back. And then you already know the upright rows that we do with your elbows tucked in. Your turn. Squat, lateral raise, and front raise combination for this one, you guys. So keep your feet parallel at shoulder width when you're doing your squats. Drop nice and low, pushing your butt right down and making sure you're staying nice and vertical as far as the upper body is concerned. And then go into your lateral raises, return nice and slow, and then go into a neutral grip front raise. Your turn. All right, we're starting this one with a sumo squat. Then we're going into a close grip front raise. So your hands remain together. And once you reach all the way up, we're going to go into some overhead triceps extensions from there. And then return your arms nice and slow with control. And then drop back down into your sumo squat. Your turn to try this full body workout flow. Now we did say to you guys, no repeat and no jumping in this program. So that's exactly what you're going to get. We're going to bend over, go into some back swings for your triceps. Then we're going to go into some front raises with a neutral grip and then finish off with a reverse fly for this combination. Keep your knees bent, keep your quads active and a nice neutral back. Your turn.
Another fantastic full body dumbbell exercise, you guys. We're going to work a traditional thruster, but you can see that we're doing it from a shoulder press hand position. So drop down into that squat nice and deep, come up and finish off with a nice shoulder press, balancing the dumbbells right at the top. As you drop down, push your butt out and make sure you keep your spine neutral. Start with a dumbbell pullover with your legs in a tabletop and then we're going to work an abs tuck from there. So really just extending those legs out as far as they'll go and tuck it back in. Position yourself back in your tabletop before starting your pullovers once again. Make sure that your lower back is pinned against the floor. So we're going to start this supine exercise with a press crunch, crunching all the way up and then we're going to throw in a couple of crossbody crunches. So make sure we aim for the right knee and then aim for the left knee so that we can get into those intercostals while you're working your abs. A really good anterior core combination this one guys, so give it a good go. Ooh, this one's gonna burn your legs, guys. So you can see we're starting from a low stance and then we're going to a side squat on one side and then pushing straight over to the other side. Then we're gonna meet in the middle and we're gonna hit our prancers, once on the left and once on the right. Now make sure you keep a steady height throughout the entire set. It's pretty much gonna work your entire legs. Enjoy it.
So we'll start this one with a deadlift, guys, and then we're going to alternate your oblique tilts. We're going to hit one on the right and then one in the left before going back to that deadlift. So make sure your starting position, you've got your feet at shoulder width or marginally wider. Make sure your knees are slightly bent and your hips behind you in order to protect your back throughout the whole exercise. Your turn to try it. With your lower back pinned against the floor and your head and shoulder blades lifted, go into some abs rollovers. And then to complicate it, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do single leg at a time. So this is going to be actually more difficult. If you get to that point when you're arching your back or that your head and shoulder blades are dropping, just stop right there, you guys, because we want to make sure that you don't injure yourself. All right, a relatively difficult prone exercise for this one, guys. So we're going to start off doing a push-up, and then we're going to hit those side knee strikes one side at a time. And then the trick is to try and keep your body balanced throughout. Now, if you've got a lot of difficulty doing this, do it on your knees. Do it the way Steph's doing it. But if you think you can machine your way through it, then just do it the way I'm doing it, and just keep your tailbone in to protect your back. sumo squat with some Y front raises for this one, guys. So when you do your sumo squat, make sure that your legs are nice and wide, your toes are pointing out 45 degrees, drop nice and low with your back vertical. And then when you come up into the front raise, go into a letter Y. So it's both front raise and a reverse fly in one. Your turn to have a go at this one.
another fantastic superset for a full body dumbbell workout guys we're going to start with a pair of reverse lunges so hit one on the left then go to the right and then when you come back up we're going to do a biceps curl so make sure your elbows remain nice and static when you do your curls and then just go back into those reverse lunges nice and steady Bent over row, bent over T row, and a reverse fly combination for this one, guys. So this is actually a fantastic back workout, particularly your thoracic region, where we hit those bent over rows, work the lower part of the lats, then we go up with the T rows, and then we're gonna go from the center out with the reverse flies. Keep your knees bent and keep a nice neutral spine. Your turn. Chest fly into some skull crushers, guys, but you'll notice that we're doing it from a tabletop. So this is going to force you to stabilize. It's going to use a little bit of your lower abs, plenty of your hips while you're working your chest and working your triceps as well. So again, a really good full body dumbbell exercise. Maintain your tabletop throughout the entire set. Starting supine with a close grip press, and then we're going to alternate some leg presses from that position. So it's going to really hit your abs one side at a time. It's going to work your hips as well. Make sure that your lower back is nicely grounded, and make sure that you've got your elbows tucked in during your press. Keep your head and shoulder blades up, because that's going to help protect your back. Your turn. All right, guys, well done for getting through today's dumbbell workout flow with us. 
We really hope that you enjoyed it. Now, if you haven't already, can I recommend that you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of the workouts that we put out weekly for you guys. If you have any suggestions, if there's something that you want to see, comment and let us know below. Tell us what you want. We'll make it happen for you. Now, if you could also consider sharing this workout with your friends, you'll be helping them get in shape and it's going to help our channel as well. So we'll be very much grateful to you guys for that. We hope you enjoyed the workout. Have a really fantastic day and we'll see you soon. We will. Take care of yourselves.